We all know it's important to stay in good physical shape. So every year, we get a checkup with the doctor to make sure we're on track. But what about our finances? If you're looking to retire, it's incredibly important to have those in good shape too. That's where Phyllis Sachs Pilvinas comes in. She's been guiding her clients to and through retirement for over 30 years, making sure their retirement accounts are prepared to go the distance. It's time to retire financially fit with Phyllis. Here's your host, Jen Rizek. There are too many of us who are too focused on saving and accumulating wealth, and we're forgetting an important part of the retirement planning equation. How do we get money out of those accounts, and what are the taxes it can trigger when we start withdrawing money? That is a big topic today on Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. Phyllis Sachs Pilvinas is founder and president of, of PSP and Associates, and she is fired up and ready to talk about taxes here on the show this morning and what you need to know about taxes and retirement and knowing the difference between tax preparation and tax planning. Phyllis, I know this is a big topic for you. It is something that gets you fired up. So we don't even need that second cup of coffee this morning because we're ready to go. <laughs> oh, Jen, I, I am. When it comes to taxes, I am on fire. And if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. This is the redheaded stepchild of retirement tax planning. It's just crazy. Wow. Uh, I just... I guess I get it, but I'm going to tell you 85 to 90% of the people who come into my office and sit down for the first time have never had an analysis of their future tax liability. And, and that's just costing them so much money. Yeah. Yeah. That, that future tax liability, Phyllis, the big thing that we need to understand when it comes to our retirement accounts when we're taking money out of those, if we don't have a strategy, we can get walloped with taxes. And really, it, it almost defeats the purpose of having these tax advantaged accounts to begin with if you're making all these missteps with it. It it sure does. It sure does. So I wanna be I wanna break it down. Okay. Most people are very conscious about having their taxes prepared and conventional wisdom has kind of brainwashed people is, is you know, that's where we got to focus. What am I going to be paying this year on taxes? How can I reduce and eliminate those taxes? And, and that my accountant's doing that for me. Well, yeah, you don't want to pay more than your fair share in the short term, but more importantly, you want to have the perspective of, of what you're going to pay over your lifetime in retirement and how much of a chunk is that going to take out of your retirement paycheck because it's huge. Mm -hmm. Again, conventional wisdom has, has had people for years thinking, while I'm working, I make more than I will in retirement. And when I retire, I'll be in a lower tax bracket. So it makes absolute sense to save dollars in pre-tax accounts, meaning that I won't pay the taxes on that money that I'm saving in my IRA or my 401k or my 403b, those retirement accounts. I won't say I won't pay it then. I'll save it on my taxes. Mm -hmm. But later on when I retire, I'll pay it in the lower tax bracket. Well, the fact of the matter is that just doesn't... It, it doesn't work out right. There's a huge tax bomb lurking in your future if most of your money is saved in these pre-tax accounts. I, I can almost guarantee it. Uh, absolutely. So tax prep is what your accountant does. And they've got a very important role because these tax laws are forever changing in, in, you know, in the last minute of a tax year, the internal revenue can come out with something and it changes what they have to do. So let's not take that lightly, but tax preparation is based upon what you've already done. Right. You know, make sure the accountant's job is to make sure you don't pay more than you should and, and less than you should. So you don't have any penalties. But tax preparation on the I mean, tax planning, on the other hand, is understanding what am I going to pay in taxes throughout my retirement lifetime? Mm -hmm. What, you know, what are those taxes going to look like? And, and you know what? We do projections for people all the time. And like I said, there's a huge tax bomb because most of the people listening right now 
have the majority of their money in pre-tax accounts yet to pay. And, and let me just give you this illustration. Let's just say you're like the average person that we see who starts getting serious about saving for retirement and they follow conventional wisdom. Let's say they're 35 years old and they start putting five grand away a year in, in an IRA or a 401k. Mm-hmm. They're thrilled because they're saving. They're following conventional wisdom. They're saving $5,000 a year on taxes. Mm-hmm. You're in a 30% tax bracket. Hey, you know, uh, between state and federal and all other stuff, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Sounds so, like, sounds like yeah. you're on track. Right? Yeah, absolutely. But let's think about this. So you, you save that every year and you save that till you go to retire at 65. That means that you save taxes on $155,000. You didn't pay taxes on that. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, sounds great. But <laughs> but the other side of the coin is this. All along that money's been growing. And if you're like most people, you're want, you know, you're young, you want it to grow as much as it can. Let's say you put it in the S&P 500. You probably made 7% each year to age 65. So now you save taxes of 155,000, but by the time you retire from growth, you got about 600 grand in there that you haven't paid taxes on. Right. Yet. Still have the tax bill on all of that. It's the difference between paying taxes on the seed versus taxes on the harvest is another that, way to look at that. That's exactly right. And you know, let's let's go with that analogy for a minute. The farmers always want to pay taxes on the seed. Let's say you've got a handful of corn seeds. They want to pay taxes right then because they know if those seeds in the ground and, and they take good care of it, it's going to flourish. And they're going to have a lot more to pay, t- pay taxes mm-hmm. on when it flourishes, when they, when they harvest that crop. Same thing. Yep. People are paying in your retirement accounts, you're paying taxes on the harvest, not the seed. So in that illustration, at 65, it gets better because people follow conventional wisdom like little puppies, Mm. right? (laughs) (laughs) They say, you know, don't take that money out till you have to, till you have to take required minimum distribution, which is now age 72, Until Uncle Sam says you have to take it out, why pay those taxes? You don't want to do that. So it continues to grow. And then at 72, most people, if you've planned right for retirement, want to take out the bare minimum. They don't want to take out more than they have to. And you got to take out required minimum distribution. If you don't, there's going to be a huge penalty of 50% on that money, Jen. Think about that, 50% if you don't cooperate, right? So people take that out. And let's just say you start taking that money out at 72 and and you live to age 85. Well, that account that you save taxes on $155,000 has gotten you yearly required minimum distributions to age 85 of about 500,000, but it's still been growing Mm -hmm. because you're only taking out the minimum. Well, then when you die, there's still 600,000 in there or so. So you save taxes in your lifetime on on one hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. You pay taxes on about five six hundred thousand dollars, and your beneficiaries pay tax on another six hundred thousand. And they're paying taxes on over a million bucks. Oh my gosh! Is that crazy? Talk about whopping taxes. And and this is where I come unglued. Everybody's got to agree with me here. Everybody's got to agree that taxes are not going down; they're going up. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a so, political statement. That That's no. a fact that pretty much everybody yeah, agrees on yeah. at this point. Yep. Right. That's right. That's right. So, yep, absolutely. They're going up. And while they're on sale right now, we need to get a handle on our future tax liability. And in, re- in retirement, it's the first time in your life that you really don't have to pay those payroll taxes. Mm-hmm. Social Security tax, Medicare tax. If you understand your future liability, tax liability, we can set up a number of different strategies to reduce or eliminate your taxes. This is where we help people save tens to thousands of dollars in, in taxes. And, you know, people want to make more and more and more on their, on their investments, but you're going to end up giving more and more and more to Uncle Sam, and he's not really your uncle. <laughs> so we got to understand this. You know, it's time to sound that alarm. Higher taxes, they're coming. 
And time, it could be running out for you if you don't do something about it right now. Most people don't realize that we're in a low tax rate environment, but these taxes are not going to remain in, on sale forever. They're likely to go up soon. But even as these cur- even at these current low rates, taxes could swipe away at your savings, leaving you with just a fraction of the money that you're counting on for retirement. I don't want you assume, to assume that you're not going to be impacted by President Biden's proposed tax increases because you don't think you're wealthy enough. I bet just about everybody, including you, has a few areas where you can become more tax efficient with your retirement money. That's why if you're listening to this show today, I want to help you. I want to help you understand the potential impact that taxes are going to have on your retirement savings. I want to help you learn about ways to reduce or possibly eliminate most of your taxes in retirement. I want to help you create an income strategy so that your retirement income lasts as long as you need it to. So if you're listening to my voice today, this is for you. It won't cost you anything to do this analysis and there's no obligation. So hear me, whether you have a half million to several million dollars saved or even less, we can help you go over your retirement accounts and uncover what your possible tax liabilities are going to be in the future. And we'll talk about some of the strategies that can help you reduce your taxes down the road. It could mean tens of thousands of dollars back in your pocket to spend the way you want to spend it in retirement. There's no cost, there's no obligation, but you have to call us now, 623-792-5496. Again, 623-792-5496. Yeah, and we just want to reiterate, this is a short window of opportunity to take action to keep taxes from taking too much of a bite out of your savings because there are so many proposals on the table right now. This could mean tens of thousands of dollars back in your pocket. 623-792-5496. Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis continues in just a moment. Stay with us. If you owed almost $28 trillion and you didn't have the money to pay it off, what would you need to do? Make a lot more money, right? Well, now America's debt is more than $28 trillion and taxes are at historically low levels. It doesn't take a genius to realize taxes will probably go up. Now, think about your retirement accounts. Do you want to pay taxes on some of that money now when rates are low or later when rates are much higher? Whether you should pay taxes now or in retirement depends on a lot of things. Phyllis Saxpilvinas and the team at PSP and Associates know what to look for. Call 623-792-5496 to set up a visit with Phyllis Saxpilvinas and the team at PSP and Associates. That's 623-792-5496. When taxes go up, will you be ready? Call now, 623-792-5496. Firm offers insurance services and may not give tax advice. Investment advisory services are offered through PSP Financial Services, LLC, an Arizona registered investment advisor. Thanks for joining us today on Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. I am Jen Rizak, happy to be here with Phyllis Saxpilvinas. She is founder and president of PSP and Associates. She is author of the book, creating calm amidst the storm. And when we talk about one of the storms that's out there, my gosh, what is going on with taxes and the challenges that it's presenting for retirees and what they are up against, uh, that is a huge thing that we have to be thinking about. And we have so much uh, uncertainty right now with our tax laws that there are so many people that are just up in the air when it comes to what they were counting on for retirement. And we think it's important that you understand that. And Phyllis, I was telling you a a little bit ago, I found an article. I want to talk about the capital gains tax because that's another area where we've seen some proposals to increase this. Uh, The Biden administration wants to take it up to 43.4% for people (laughs) earning over a million dollars. And 
It goes back again to that idea, Phyllis. Everybody's thinking, oh, it's only going to really hammer the super wealthy and all these millionaires and, and blah, blah, blah. But I found this article um, in the Wall Street Journal, and this is this is just one man's story and one example. But I want to get your reaction to this, Phyllis, what, what I saw here. Um, this landlord, he's actually in Kentucky. But he's had this little apartment complex for 27 years. Again, this was all laid out in the Wall Street Journal. Um, So this landlord, he paid himself $75,000 a year, but he's going to be treated and taxed like a millionaire when it comes to the capital gains tax if this goes through. And here's what I mean, because this guy, his whole retirement plan is in limbo right now. So he had planned to sell his, his apartment complex, retire off the proceeds. But if this capital gains tax increase goes through, after talking to his tax advisor, here's what could potentially happen. He's been offered $2 million for the sale of the property. The way things are right now, he would pay about $500,000 in federal taxes on the sale. Then he would still have about $800,000 left over after he paid the mortgage and then the state and local taxes. Under the change, under Biden's proposal, Aside from that $500,000 he would owe, he would owe around $390,000 more, which cuts into what he was counting on for retirement, dropping it down to $400,000. This guy's totally up in the air because of taxes. It's, It's cutting it in half what he was counting on. And I'm guessing he is not the only person who could have a scenario like that. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not the only person. And it's ridiculous to what the way it's positioned. And again, I'm not trying to be political. I, I, I'm really not. But with the way we're spending, we all know budgets, you know, yeah. taxes Tons have to spending. go way up. Yeah. yeah but there's they, they position it like it, 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 this is just the one off. No, 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 no. There are a lot of small businesses who, when it comes time to retire, that's where they put their, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. And for for 15 minutes, they're a millionaire when they go to sell it and they're going to get wiped out. Right, right. It's absolutely preposterous. Absolutely preposterous. And and the thing is, yeah, this guy is in limbo because the way that that proposal was written, they could actually, I don't think it's going to happen, but they could actually, he can't go ahead and sell it tomorrow because this law could be retroactive right. to what is it? April 28th. Current, yeah, so. the the most recent uh, date that I've seen that they made it retroactive to was the end of April. But of course, it could be a different date by the time they get everything settled out. Or or it could, you know, it maybe that's something that they don't end up having in there. But it's just another example of how we can be walloped by taxes. And so many times we assume that this is going to be for people who are way wealthier than us. But like you said, Phyllis, there are so many small business owners who are going to be a millionaire for 15 minutes or a millionaire for an hour. (laughs) But then Uncle Sam treats us like we've been millionaires all along if if some of this stuff goes through. So what what's the lesson for people who are trying to plan for for their financial future with this much uncertainty. So first of all, and this is where I always talk about the difference between tax planning and tax prep. Yep. This is where tax prep is so, so relevant. If you're thinking of making a decision in, in the near future about selling something big, a house with a lot of appreciation, an apartment building, a business, by all means, this is where you do not want to do a thing till you sit down with a very competent CPA or, Mm -hmm. you know, tax preparer and understand the current laws and develop a strategy there. And then this tax planning that that's immediate. You want to be very careful about that tax prep situation and understand it before you do it. So you're proactive, not reactive. And oh, geez, with what they're talking about, who knows if there's a workaround, but understand it. Mm -hmm. And then there's tax planning which is understanding your future tax liability. This is, you know, selling a business or something like that is just a temporary situation generally. And it's a big hit. Don't get me wrong. Wow. But tax 
planning, your future tax liability is just staggering. People come into me and they say, well, you know what? I got, I got a million bucks in this retirement account. I never thought I could get there. Uh, you know, I think we're okay for retirement because they've been focusing on growing that money. And I got to be the one to say, yes, fantastic, for 15 minutes, and then go into what their future tax liability is and how it could wipe out potentially a, a good quarter to half of that. Mm. in the future. Wow. So no, you don't have a million bucks. And you know what? If you're married and you're worried about your spouse and that's the asset that you're leaving them, they're going to get hammered even more as a single taxpayer. Oh, so gosh. tax prep on these one-offs or, or these particular situations at one and done. I don't want to be political, but I can't help but getting upset. And here's the thing. I call it the redheaded stepchild because people come to me all the time and 85, maybe higher percent of these people have never had anybody analyze their future tax liability and how much of an impact it's going to have on their pocketbook after working for years and years and years and saving a lot of money. So I want to do that for you. Future tax liability analysis, it's easy. We have a team that just takes what you have and puts it into our wonderful software and we print out a report and we show you that. Once you have it in front of you, then we can back into it and develop strategies to keep more in your pocket. It's crazy, but tax planning, tax planning, tax planning. Everybody's focused on, on what the market's going to do, how much they're going to make. I want to help you keep it. Mm -hmm. Judge Learned Hen, he was a judicial philosopher. And one of the greatest things he ever said, there are two sets of tax laws, one for the informed and one for the uninformed. I want my listeners to be informed. You got to be informed. Absolutely. So call us at 623-792-5496 and let's get you informed by doing a future tax analysis. No obligation, no cost to it. We'll lay it out in front of you. And, and from there, you'll be able to see once you get over the sticker shock, hmm. I hate to tell you that, we'll be able to start talking about real viable strategies to reduce or eliminate that future tax bite. And now's the time. Right, exactly. And as, as we've been talking, and it's so important, I love when you talk about making sure that we are informed because a lot of people have not been informed. We've kind of buried our heads in the sand and we're sounding the alarm, Phyllis. It's time to sound the alarm. Higher taxes are probably coming and that means time's running out for you to do something about it. So many people, too many people don't realize we are in a low tax rate environment. It doesn't always feel like it, but it's true that taxes are lower now than they have been for quite some time. They're not going to remain on sale forever. They're going to go up, but even at the rates that they're at, they can still do some damage. They can swipe away at your savings and they can leave you with a fraction of the money that you had been counting on for your retirement. Oh, so true, Jen. And please, please, please don't assume that you won't be impacted by what President Biden's proposing in the way of tax increases because you think maybe you're not wealthy enough. I bet just about everyone, including you, you have a few areas where you can become more tax efficient with your retirement money. That's why if you're listening to the show today, I, I want to help you. I want to help you understand proactively the potential impact of these taxes, what they can have on your retirement savings. I want to show that to you. I want to help you learn about the ways to reduce and sometimes possibly eliminate taxes in retirement. And I want to help you create an income strategy so your retirement income lasts as long as you need it to. So if you're listening to my voice today, this is for you. It's not going to cost you anything to do this analysis, and there is no obligation. So whether you have a half million, maybe several million, or maybe not quite even that much, we can help you go over your retirement accounts 
and uncover what your possible tax liabilities are going to be in the future. And then we can talk about some of the strategies that can help you reduce your taxes down the road. It could mean tens of thousands of dollars back in your pocket to spend it the way you want to spend it in retirement. And I want you to hear this. There's no cost. There's no obligation. But you have to call us now. 623-792-5496. That number again, 623-792-5496. Thanks for joining us today on Retire Financially Fit with Phyllis. That's all the time we have for this week's show. Be sure to tune in again next week for more insights from Phyllis. Have a great week. Investment advisory services are offered through PSP Financial Services, LLC, an Arizona registered investment advisor. PSP Financial Services is an independent financial services firm that helps people create retirement strategies using a variety of insurance and investment products. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to safety, security, or guaranteed lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities or investment products. Insurance and annuity product guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issue insurance company. PSP Financial Services LLC is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. You should talk to a qualified professional before making any decisions about your personal situation. We are not affiliated with the U.S. government or any governmental agency.